Hello, everyone. So I posted this thing up last night, which I was working on yesterday, uh, without much of a plan at all. Thought we'd give it a go. It's basically like a sort of old school looking UI thing that uh, I was making for a friend who's building like a console with some screens in it. And we thought it'd be cool to make something sort of like in the alien universe. So yeah, I thought it worked out better and more efficiently than I expected it to. So. Um, and a couple of people asked, so I thought I would show you guys how I did it. So, in short, I'm in Eevee and just working with really simple elements. So if I, uh, we can start having a play around. So, let's get rid of this thing. So we'll just make a new one. So basically, yeah, all I'm doing is wireframe modifier to create things. So, um, for example, I started with this like frame section here, uh, which is just a flat plane with, uh, or a cube, I think actually, with a wireframe modifier on it. So yeah, it's yeah just a flat plane. And that's basically what I've done with everything. Um, so this spinning thing, for example, it's just a yeah, just a box with uh, some subdivides in it, like that. Um, and then, yeah, with a wireframe modifier, it doesn't need to be super neat. And then material-wise, I've just got this sort of emissive, emissive texture on there. And turn the glow on, uh, the bloom, yeah. So materials-wise, that's all I'm doing. And then in terms of like the design, sort of totally up to you like I quite like these frame bits so I was just doing that like duplicating them. make sure your camera is set to orthographic as well um, it'll make things seem more flat yeah and then it was a case of just adding random bits so I found what was quite useful was to have have these modifiers set up um, in white so you can just sort of control so for example, this has got an array modifier on it. So I can just control how many of those things there are. Um, and then if I want to make more, I can just bring those. Um, yeah, and just recycle them. And then same with the lines. These are just, again, cubes that I've just stretched out using these. So this gives me options. So I can create different thicknesses um, just using the slider bars here. Um, I can sort of create EUI elements by duplicating, just changing the thickness. Um, yeah, so it's like really uh, changeable and easy to negotiate and move around and just copy things. So like once you've made one, you can, you know, just take this bit of text, download the sort of digital looking text font from defont.com. Um, and then I can just go in and edit that. Just copy some bump off the internet. And then, yeah, you've got all your usual text editing options there. Yeah, and that's basically it. Like these bits here are just, again, just flat planes. I think I just cut the end off a cylinder. Grabbing those. And once you've got these elements, you can just sort of copy and paste the sizes and then again because anything you've got a wireframe modifier on you can change the thickness so you can just use those parameters more stuff from over here uh, make a double one um, and then the other thing that you can obviously change is I'm just changing the general color using the background color here so if you want a more blue sort of Easy background. Do that. In terms of the animation, so things that are spinning. So grab that. Example. That spins out the animation. Super simple. Again, this is just a cube that's beveled with a wireframe modifier, and then I've just keyframed it to spin. It's helpful if you set your spin to do a th sort of 360 or like a, a factor of full spin so that you can loop it so like by the end of the animation you've like 
should spin twice and then it will just loop around and that means you can just have if you're putting it on a display or something it doesn't jerk around too much like when it gets to the end of the thing yeah that's basically it really it's like super simple and you can just make your own shapes go back watch alien um have a look at some of the ui stuff that they do there and have a lot of fun with it for those on my patreon i have put this project up so you can have a look on the inside and steal all the components if you wish it's it's fun to make your own as well so either way hopefully this has been helpful thanks a lot